<laughs> hey guys, it's Bernice, and as you can tell by the title of this video, this is a Get Ready With Me plus life update. So the first thing I'm going to do is my brows, obviously. So this is the NYX Brow Pencil and Espresso. Everyone's been wondering like what I've been doing. Like everyone wanted me to do like a live video. People want me to upload more and I'm like I'm just not in the mood to do it. And I thought this would be a perfect time to do it, if that makes sense. So recently um, as of June 2021, I officially graduated from UC Irvine. Ooh, I'm an alumni. <laughs> so, um, that's great. Um, normally I would have graduated last year in 2020 because that's my expected graduation date. I was expected to graduate summer session 2 of 2020, but I found out that, uh, I am one class short of graduating, which is a one upper diff psych class, and I'm like, dang it, I don't want to do fall. I could have, but I chose not to, just to help out with my family and stuff. So there's that. I don't know, I just chose not to do it for some odd reason. I just like, nah. I don't want to go do fall. I just don't like it. And the classes that I need, I've already that I um the classes for the fall quarter, um I've already taken them. So I was like, there's no need. So for my school, um my school is the School of Social Sciences, and they up for I don't know about the other majors in social sciences like anthropology, economics, cognitive science, for psychology. They listed all the classes that are available for the school year. So I checked spring, um, there's one that I liked. Yeah, um, spring there was one, winter, not really. So I was like, okay, I'll do spring. So I took three classes because I need to fill the requirements for my VA benefits. So VA benefits is, so if you're in the military, I'll probably do a more in-depth video about this, that's like simple straight to the point. If you are a son or a daughter or a spouse of someone who served in the military and they were honorably discharged, you can have the VA pay for your college education. You have until the age of 27, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure because I'm still contemplating if, if I should do grad school. depending on your major so um my classes were four units so i only took three classes so four eight twelve i put the va benefits oh in order to get your tuition paid for you need to have 12 units so like community college you need at least four if you're at a university um Depending on your major, you need at least three. Yeah, like I said, I'll do like an in-depth video about that. So the classes I took were Sociological Lens of the Catholic Church. I took a Psych Anthropology class, and I think I took another another upper, I forget the other upper day of psych course that I took. But it was taught by one of my favorite professors, so there's that. And um, I graduated this past spring. It was really fun. I was going to do a vlog on that day, but I was like, no, like, I don't want to do it. Um, yeah. Alright, so after I graduated, um, I got a, a bachelor's degree in the arts. Like what job should I apply for? And I didn't think about this until around early July. Early July was when I started looking into it because like June I just wanted a month off to relax, not think about like applying for jobs. That's when everything started to open back up more. 
in my home state. I know y'all be talking flack about California, but it's fine. I just like, I want to relax with my friends and all that. I hung out with my friends at, for a birthday party, I went to hang out with some friends that I haven't seen in over a year in Orange County, like most specifically Buena Park. Oh, I don't know why, I don't like doing this brow. So yeah, I just bought a lot, not bought a lot of stuff, but like I hung out with friends, I did buy some things. If you haven't noticed on my Instagram stories, or on my Instagram in, in general. Um, I'm a huge fan of K-pop. I've been listening to K-pop since 2009, I wanna say, when 21 um, debuted. And um, I listened to them, Girls' Generation, Wonder Girls, and I got into boy bands like Big Bang, um, 2 p.m., 2 a.m. Um, shiny super junior fx four minute i got into k-pop during sec the second generation of k-pop so there's that brows are done <laughs> so i'm gonna use my morphe brow powder in java to set the pencil in my brows so like i said i got to k-pop second gen so i bought some albums from blackpink and um, I got into this new group called Treasure. I'm trying to light on my thing here. I first got into album buying in 2020 when like August 2020, September 2020, like around that time. I think around the end of September of last year. That's when I think Blackpink debuted their album finally. And I bought all four versions of it and I'm like, I need to hunt four new albums and I don't have the money right now so I'll wait till next year and I did. I started doing um buying one by one so the first thing I bought was Rose's solo album followed by um Blackpink the show CD version the show DVD version and then um I bought Square Up both versions and Kill This Love BP. All that I'm missing right now in terms of albums is Jenny's solo because that's the, she was the first member to force have her solo debut. Can't find it anywhere so I'm still hunting for that. And then next I'm trying to buy like see if I can hunt for anything else new. But uh, of Blackpink related stuff. So the recent Blackpink related stuff that I bought was um, Lisa's solo debut album. And I got into Treasure YG's new boy band. They debut 2020 also. I started buying albums in June. Um, the leftover money I got from the VA, the VA. Next, I'm gonna carve my brows. So once July hits, I started applying for um, jobs. And my friend gave me this idea before COVID even hit. So I live with my best friend, Abby Martinez. Hey girl, what's up? <laughs> if you're watching this, hello. Um, I met Abby when, in my third year at UCI and um, we were roommates by my fourth year and she would have graduated by then. Um, I was living with her sister Eunice and their friends as well. I um, made a new friend. Her name is Manila. Um, yeah, she was my roommate. Abby told me her job is um, being a behavioral therapist as ABA therapy. And that's with kids who have um, autism. So like, oh, that's cool. And um, I wanted to see if there's any jobs like that here. And so, um, I looked and there was and the closest town where I live is um, had a lot more cases so I applied for three different for those different companies I applied for behavioral autism therapies and two other companies here in my hometown before I did that I decided to apply at the local military base because why not because I grew up there all right next I'm gonna use my P. Louise primer base so I applied there and for some reason I wasn't qualified enough but 
my friend Brandon, my friend's brother Brandon, there you go, we're not like really friends, like I just know him, um, he got in. We applied for the same like, um, building, CYS, which is like somewhat like a boy, boys and girls club, that kind of situation. But I think it's because I applied for a different position than he did, but congratulations to him. And after that, that's when I started applying for those jobs. And um, my first interview was with Behavioral Autism Therapies in ju like mid-July. So I'm going to go in with my tried and true H NYX HD powder. I It wasn't like a one-on-one -on -one interview, which I am nervous about. And I had my interview, it was a group interview, which I appreciated. So I was more comfortable in that environment. So um, I applied for them, and I didn't hear back from them until like two days, to like two days later. And they congratulated me on getting the job. I was like super happy. The next I'm doing these two Milani liners. I got in, and they told me if I get hired, training is the next week. So training is is a week, a week long. It was a week long, and um. I'm gonna do this off camera and uh, I'll be right back. Hey, so I just did my eyeliner off camera and um, as I mentioned earlier, I got accepted and my training was a week long. During training, you get this like um, little handbook. You take your very important notes. You just study what to do, what not to do, like therapist responsibilities. You learn the different types of forms of therapy. So like there's DTT, discrete trial training, and PRT, pivotal response training, or something like that. Yeah, so I'm taking my pretty vulgar mascara. So we learn about that stuff. You learn about um, therapist responsibilities, what you're supposed to do. If the parents aren't home in like 15, if you get to their house and you ring the doorbell and they don't are, and are not there in 15 minutes, you cancel. Parents are not supposed to be like under the influence of alcohol or drugs when session when therapy is in session and then after that you have your um your test so it's just like your typical test you get in like high school and college multiple choice fill in the blanks all that stuff no short answers but you do have to write like stuff down like what are a b c what is seat all that so ABC is antecedent behavior, I think, antecedent behavior consequence. And I forgot what C was. It's like the types of behaviors, I think. Because I know T and C is tangibles or access to tangibles. Now, primer. Next, I'm going to take my tried and true again. This is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless. So, you have to with a certain score and if you don't you have the chance to retake it the next day and if you fail that you have to take the um, week-long course again mostly everyone in our class passed and um, we got our cases and I didn't get my case until like almost August because most of my friends people that I met during training they got their cases and they started right away in build rapport building I didn't get mine until like August, so I'm like, what the heck? I only had one case and I got really confused. Was I supposed to do rapport building first and then demand programs or implement programs? The first case that I got, um, they just moved, they're with, they've been with the company for a year, for a while now. Um, and what, how do I explain this? They moved from Fontana to Victorville. So I'm gonna take my bare minerals stick foundation. Turns out I wasn't the mom didn't want me on the case, which is fine, which is normal. And so the whole point is to see what case you're good at. I didn't mention this until like later on with my job. I got another case, two cases in Hesperia. It's where one of one of the therapists was like had to um, resign for personal matters. And, um, 
I took over her case. One was, both of them are kind of in the Hesperia area, but one, the second one is near like Oak Hills, which is like the nicer part of the high desert. That makes sense. Big houses, nice, like, a lot, like big acres of land. I was the permanent therapist for the one in Oak Hills, and I got taken off the second one. They never explained to me why. Well, I think they did, I just didn't want to hear it. Um, so I got put on with another case. I've been taken in and out of cases. It's just like, like I said, it's why I forgot I should have mentioned earlier. So this next case, I decided I'm um, also in this area, but further towards like the mountains. Um, I did stay with the therapist who's gonna become the lead therapist for that case for a week and then after two weeks of rapport building I thought I was gonna do well then I got taken off because I mm -mm, I just didn't like it and then this is where I tell my scheduler and my lead therapist that I, I prefer working with older kids kids like my sister's age she was 18 I get along with I get along well with older kids if that makes sense so they found one for me um she's new to the company that's that's where i'm at right now i'm putting on hand sanitizer because my hands are kind of sticky <laughs> from my sponge oh i forgot to mention i have the elf hydrating camo concealer and satin finish this is in medium peach i just prefer the ones who are very high functioning I'll probably make a video about these terms. I am by no means an expert in ABA therapy. These are some terminologies you should know if you do pursue a degree in psychology. Because in psychology you learn about um, autism but not on ABA. But there is a master's program for applied behavioral anal analysis, also known as ABA. I'll take my NYX concealer, which I did for my brows, and just do it on some blemishes. So, um, yeah, here we are right now. I've been with the company about two months now, almost three. Um, if you count training, so July, August, September, October, November, four months. All is well. I'm having to pick up my diploma tomorrow. I may vlog for that. Do I have any plans in the future? Maybe. I do want to pursue my master's program, master's degree taking my HD powder again and uh, I don't know maybe do I want to apply for psychological science just like overall so, do I want to do social work do I want to do applied behavioral analysis I honestly don't know or do I want to do more specific with psychological science like educational developmental counseling because I've been told all my life if you want to pers um, have like a good paying job be a counselor for example you need at least a master's degree that's what i've been told and it's actually pretty true because um i checked at my community college um they were listing for a faculty full for a counselor and the requirements is at least a master's degree so i'm gonna take my milani blush in luminoso i don't know where I want to pursue my master. Do I want to go back to like the UC or Cal State system? Do I want to do it um, online? I found out about this at when I was teaching. There's an actual um, graduate school just for psychology only. It's literally called Chicago School of Psychology. I might apply there, who knows. I know I don't have the GPA to get in grad school the ones I've been looking at you need at least a 3.0 I have almost a 2.5 don't ask I don't know do I want to do YouTube full-time I don't know so um, yeah so I'm gonna take my favorite matte liquid lipstick <laughs> in from Too Faced in the shade sellout I don't know do I I don't know I'm doing really good according to like alma mater apparently I did I went to a UC school a research school it's a U, which is research based 
so like, who knows? But I do know if I want to do grad school seriously, I have to take the GRE. Even though it's not quote unquote required at some schools, it does show like how serious you are about grad school. And grad school is only like two to three years. Two of my friends are in grad school. They both go to Cal State Fullerton and um, they're both in their second year. Alright, overlined. Like I drew over my Cupid's bow. So next I'm gonna take my next setting spray. So yeah, um, that's my life right now. But um, before COVID hit, as you know, it hit around 2020, like mid 2020. Um, I was gonna film that, but like, I don't know. But um, I do have some exciting plans coming up since I have like a job. I have things to explore. Maybe I'll do like a, my GRE journey. I don't know. I won't constantly upload if that makes sense. I just don't want to stress out about that kind of stuff. This is my look. This is the same look I did with my very first video. But um, I honestly don't care. It's my go-to. Except for the little lip part. But um, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.